Bernard's Snowy Rescue by Teddy Snuggletail for Comfy Corner Time. See you tomorrow, Yo-Yo called as he trudged off through the snow. Yay, he squealed as the cold crisp carpet wrapped around his little feet. What a perfect day, he thought. School had finished early because a blizzard was coming. Yay! We all get to play in the snow, he called, waving goodbye to his friends. Soon the wind began to howl. Large flakes of snow swirled around frantically. Stinging cold sleet slapped his soggy wet cheeks. Yo-Yo pushed on like a trooper. Not far now, he thought. But when he arrived at the crossroads, something was wrong. It wasn't his street. In the blinding snow, he must have taken a wrong turn. Seeing his big, deep footprints, Yo-Yo decided to retrace his steps. Not to worry, he said. But as he walked, the footprints got fainter and fainter. When he arrived at the next junction, he couldn't remember which way to go. Oh no, he cried. I'm completely lost. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which direction will I go? Spin around and then you'll know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yo-Yo walked till he could walk no more. The sun faded behind the curtain of blustery snow and he found himself alone in the dark. Oh, how he cried. The sound of crispy, creaky snow filled his ears as he lay down for a rest. He made a little snow angel to lift his spirits. But soon, with achy muscles, he fell asleep, wrapped up snug out of the wind in a snowy blanket. Yo-Yo dreamt something warm was wiping the snow from his face. Must be Mummy, he thought. He opened his eyes. Ah, he cried. A big, round, furry face with soft brown eyes stared at him. Around his neck, a thick, heavy collar. Hello, giggled Yo-Yo smothered by a warm, fluffy cuddle. The huge St. Bernard dog had a curious little flask tied around his thick neck. Yo-Yo took it, unscrewing the lid. Oh, wow, he said, as the warm, sweet smell of hot chocolate tickled his nostrils. He took a sip and then another. Oh, how the warm, chocolatey liquid flowed through him, defrosting his weary body. With newfound energy, Yo-Yo struggled to his feet. Bernard wagged his tail excitedly, as if to say, Follow me! Curious, Yo-Yo wrapped his little fingers around the dog's big, heavy collar. The enormous bear of a dog, half dragged, half led him through the snow. The wind seemed less fierce now and the snowfall much lighter. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, twinkling yellow orbs appeared ahead. The pitch black dark softened as the lights grew nearer. Bernard and Yo-Yo emerged onto a street. He had made it. Bernard had led him back safe and sound. In an overwhelming gesture of gratitude, Yo-Yo threw his arms around the dog's thick neck, giving him the biggest cuddle he had ever given. Thank you, Bernard, he whispered. You're my hero. His house door flew open. Yo-Yo's parents rushed out, tears of joy and relief streaming down their faces. 
Oh, yo-yo, cried his mother as she squeezed him tight. What a clever kind dog you are, she said to Bernard, showering him with thanks and affection. Good old Bernard became a true saint, loved by all, but none as much as Yo-Yo. Every night before bed, he would gaze out of the window, hoping to see a glimpse of his new friend. See you tomorrow, Bernard, he would whisper. In the heart of every snowy storm, you'll find a friend like St. Bernard, a kind soul who brings warmth and safety to guide you on your way.